Hey folks, Todd Colburn here with your Aerospace Structures series. This lecture is on how students can obtain Nastran Patron and FEMAP for free, courtesy of a number of manufacturers of this amazing software. This is how it works. So this uh, video is focused on a number of audiences, mainly students and faculty here in the United States probably can benefit from this particular offer. Anyone planning to study finite elements from an aerospace perspective is really going to need NASTRAN and probably PATRAN. The uh, most, uh, the, the version, the finite element program that has the most pedigree or hierarchy for Aerospace structural analysis is probably NASTRAN. They pulled into the forefront uh, in the early 60s and 70s and uh, have pretty much held that position. Some other versions of NASTRAN are now very strong and popular. I'm going to present a couple of those as well. And there are other programs that also can do finite elements quite well. But NASTRAN is pretty much the standard for aerospace analysis, especially in the States. So uh, everybody studying NASTRAN is going to need, uh, that wants to do finite elements, is going to need a copy of NASTRAN. And uh, I don't actually believe that folks should be allowed to punch buttons on a pre and post processor until they first have learned what NASTRAN does or the program that they're using to do their finite element analysis. Any student studying finite elements, any industry professional studying finite elements, for aerospace applications should first understand what NASTRAN does, how the NASTRAN cards work, and those kinds of things. I've got a whole uh, group of lectures for this. They're mostly organized around my Introduction to Fine Elements class at Cal Poly. I'm going to be adding to those deeper and deeper resources for how to use the simple practical cards and how to make them work for you on more complicated models. Uh, so first, we're going to need a version of NASTRAN. MSC NASTRAN, uh, or NASTRAN is available from a number of sources. MSC, who has the longest pedigree uh, with uh, a good foothold in the U.S. Air, uh, aviation market. Um, also, NX NASTRAN is available, courtesy of Siemens. And Autodesk NASTRAN, which descended from the NEI NASTRAN, which actually has a great interface. I'm going to talk briefly about each of these. Okay. So uh, the basic way you're going to get these is you're going to need to be a student, and you probably need to be a student in the U.S. I'm not totally sure of that. You'll have to check with the manufacturer yourself. You can follow through the leads that I'm going to give you and look into that yourself working with the manufacturers. If you are a student in the U.S. of an engineering program, you should be able to download it for free. Uh, courtesy of these manufacturers during the duration of your studies. Usually it's like a year at a time. You may need to get that renewed. If you're a faculty member, similar program, you should be able to download it as well. You may need to talk to them directly to get that line. So let's see. From MSC or Autodesk or Siemens, you can get a version of NASTRAN. You're also going to be able to get a pre- and post-processor, either PATRAN or FEMAP. Okay, so uh, that NASTRAN you're going to need if you want to study finite elements, PATRAN or FEMAP, these are nearly similar. PATRAN has a bigger foothold for uh, the larger companies in aerospace. FEMAP has picked up more and more market share, it seems like, especially with the smaller companies. It's a little less expensive, and uh, it also uh, seems to do free body diagrams. I think I like it a little better than Na uh, PATRAN for that purpose. There are other pro uh, programs like Abacus, which is great for axisymmetric models and nonlinear models. ANSYS, which is used for a lot of fluid stuff. That's also available at CPP. Strudel, which is uh, kind of gone by the wayside, but which was strong back uh, a few decades ago. So in order to get a version, your own version of NASTRAN, what you're going to want to do here is you can go to the MSC website. And if you're a student or a professor, you can follow the prompts, and request a copy. You can get a copy of PATRAN as well. So you can actually download both NASTRAN, MSC NASTRAN, and 
Patran onto your computer and use it as long as it's for educational purposes. And uh, the uh, their Nastran version is going to be a little window. You're going to click on the program. You're going to have to just type your file name in with any uh, optional characters, and then it will run your program that you're just developing as a little Word file as always. Um, for Patran, it's going to be the stand-up regular Patran version, and you can run these in conjunction or separately. So to study finite elements, first you need Nastran, you need to study that, and then you're going to need Patran or FEMAP. And uh, once again, in order to use those, once you've got those on your computers, then you can follow along in my videos, and it'll walk you through the most fundamental cards that you need in order to make simple, practical models. Uh, in order to get uh, FEMAP with an X Nastran, you can get that from Siemens. That's available as a FEMAP with an X Nastran. The problem with that is, is that it, uh, it's the Nastran is a slave to FEMAP, so it's not a standalone Nastran. You have to uh, only can run Nastran from the FEMAP model, which actually uh, is great, but it loses one layer of controllability, makes it harder to uh, go and change your models and then rerun. So uh, that is inferior to getting the standalone program. I actually got a range for my students to be able to download that NX Nastran uh, standalone and get that available at the school. But we've mostly been using MSC Nastran because that allows a standalone Nastran download. That's what you really need if you really want to understand how Nastran works and the kind of models it generates. So follow this link, fill out the uh, cards. Now, Autodesk was the NEI version of Nastran about, about a decade ago. And uh, this is a great little program. Now, unfortunately, a few years ago, they changed it. So you have to download their entire Autodesk Inventor Suite. Once again, this is for students and professors. So I'm sure this is a great software package. Autodesk is one of the leaders in drafting software but it takes a lot of space. And if that's not what you're looking for, then it's unfortunate you have to do that. I understand you can uh, download it. That uh, When you download the whole Inventor Suite, you will also get their Nastran. And then you can delete the Inventor if you don't want to use that or keep it if you find it useful. The uh, beauty of the NEI version of Nastran is it's pretty much a full up Nastran program and it has a better interface window than the other standalone Nastrans. Of course, if you really want to get into the nuts and bolts and model really quickly, then FEMAP or Patran are better tools. But if you want to work with the input deck and you want to get a little graphical model, be able to see your model as well while you're doing that in a really easy interface, NEI Nastran seems to be the best for a non-FEMAP uh, or uh, Patran kind of solution. So here is the link. And here is a little process that you can read at your leisure that was pioneered by one of my uh, great students a year or so ago. Okay, so you can read through this at your leisure and uh, download that courtesy of Autodesk. Um, in order to use Nastran, you're going to need to understand how Nastran files work. Here is a really brief look. Basically, you're going to have uh, Nastran uh, is going to generate a bunch of text files. That's pretty awesome because it means it's going to break down the simplest elements into just text entry, and you're going to be reading that data in and getting your output that way. The, uh, whatever your file name is, uh, file naming is uh, an important skill, so you can keep track of your models. That can be quite challenging after you have a few versions of the same model. Basically, you're going to be dealing with your BDF or your bulk data file. That's just a text file that has all of your Nastran commands. MSC usually looks for this to be called a .bdf file. It's just a text file, though. Uh, and uh, NX Nastran usually looks for that to be called a .nas. And I think Autodesk is the same. I don't recall for sure. So they'll often use uh, .nas. Uh, extensions like .bdf or .nas or something similar. The uh, the next, so that's the most important file you're going to need when you're running a final element program. The next important file you're going to need is the .fo6 file, which is also called the .out file by some programs. 
This basically is going to be a text file uh, containing all your results. And it has uh, printer control and things from the old NASTRAN way that, uh, excuse me, the way the program, the NASTRAN program was originally written in, in Fortran. There are other, a number of other files, one of them like the log file, which keeps, keeps, helps keep track of what the computer is doing while the program is running, and a number of others. One I don't think I have listed here is the .op2 file, which I think uh, FEMAP calls something different, which is basically the file, a bunch of gibberish that you can't read, but that's what the Patron or FEMAP will use to read in the results if you read in your model and then do stuff with it there. So this is kind of every time you run a Nastran model, Nastran is going to generate a bunch of those. If you run another model over and over again, it'll put a .1, .2, on the older versions of that. Okay? So that's just a few ways that you can download Nastran for free and Patreon and FEMAP if you are a student or a professor. And that can allow you to hone your skills so that when you get out there in industry, you're able to move that company forward rapidly. If you uh, find that useful, I encourage you to stay tuned. I have kind of an introduction to Nastran in my uh, Fine Element playlist. I'm going to be adding to that. I'm working on a book which will have a number of really simple techniques where you'll learn to use each little element, exactly how it works, and then see how it builds into some larger things. So I'm going to probably put up my content first uh, pieces of it in my YouTube videos, and then eventually put a little handbook together for you all. thought I'd have it out last summer, but I had some other things hit. And uh, so it'll probably be this summer before that's out. Okay. Hope you find that helpful. Enjoy.